Welcome, Welcome back to another edition of The Devil's Lair. Hi, I'm Todd Gann. And I'm Randy Meadows. Uh, we're laughing because we're sitting here talking about things and not even paying attention to the intro music. That's and right. Next thing you know, we're going live. So, <laughs> um, Anyways, welcome back to the show. Uh, sorry for the delay. I know last week Todd had a, a condition we like to call reptile dysfunction. That's right. And uh, this week we're having technical issues. Um, so <laughs> Technical dysfunction. Te- technical dysfunction, exactly. <laughs> so... Um, we, we, we're glad you're back with us. Absolutely. So, and hope everyone had a great long holiday weekend. Um, got out and enjoyed the weekend, went to a Braves game or, you know, watch, watch some football, a lot of college football on TV, what have you. Hope you had, got out and enjoyed it. Yeah. A lot going on, um, in the ranks of high school football. Oh and, yeah. A little and bit. college and this week pros get kicked off so there's a lot going on absolutely so um for those of you who don't know we're the devil's lair we cover tiff county athletics um <clears throat> we try to put some positivity back into athletics and highlight our kids and um you know make it about the team but make it about these kids right. too yeah it's absolutely about the kids that's what it's all about try to get some shouts out uh, where they're due and uh Keep them lifted up. Talk about the good things they do each and yep. every week. And as always, we appreciate your help and uh, your dedication. If you will, uh, visit our website, TiffCountyDevilsLayer.com. Um, you can also check us out through um, Anero.com, at, uh, Anero.tv. And uh, uh, we're on social media. We're on, I've actually, we've got Instagram set up. We're uh, TC Devils Lair, I believe, on there. Um, Facebook, you can search Tiff, Tiff County Devil's Lair. And then Twitter, we have uh, Devil's Lair uh, 1, I think is the actual Twitter handle. Right. And uh, we feel free to tweet us and talk to us and all that kind of good stuff. So um, That's right. Yeah, so we got a lot going on. We're out there. Visit us. Visit our sites. Give us feedback. So anyways, well, let's uh, start it off with some football. Well, we'll talk about a little football. Of course, last week we had... Uh, Westover coming into town and um, visited the Devil's Den, Brody Field, 8 o'clock kickoff. Uh, you know, the weather held out. Uh, had a little threat of some rain, but it held off and kept the temperatures down. It was nice and, nice and I wouldn't say cool out, but it was nice and cooler than it had been all day. So weather was good. Field was actually in pretty good shape. Uh, you know, previous week I had the scrimmage, and it took a pretty good beating. It was pretty wet, but pretty good shape. But, uh, of course, Westover in town, first Regular season game for Tifton and uh, Tifton came out victorious, nineteen to three. Had a had a good good game and um, good showing. So um, proud of those kids. I uh, <clears throat> actually, this is my first year I get to go to the games. Um, as I've hung up my stripes from officiating. Oh my! So, wow. Um, I, I the actually, officiating stripes. Officially, I hung them up today. So <laughs> oh it's my. Uh, yeah. Wow. I made that decision today and talked it over with my wife for the five minutes I got to see her this afternoon and <laughs> told her what I'd done. So uh, I was actually at the game last week, right. and uh, what's unfortunate is I didn't even walk up through the tunnel to see the game. Right. Um, I was working, but um, I was at the game, and I saw the uh, team coming through the, right. uh-huh. the tunnel and right. everything. Exactly. I thought that was pretty cool, it man. Is. It's it something is. I haven't had to experience yet, and Some- I guess I still – Fully having experience, right. it's not being in the stands. Yeah, so. something they started last season. They come from opposite ends of the uh, stands and come through the tunnels and then make their way out on the field and meet in the middle. It's kind of neat. Um, you know, got uh, got some music playing and the kids come in all pumped up, excited. So that uh, kind of neat new new tradition they started last year. looks looks good. So, uh, but uh, we got uh, got rolling after uh, they came in, kicked off, and uh, Tiff County. Uh, Won the toss, they deferred the second half, so kicked off the West over, and and the ball game began. And um, so once the guys going there, West over kind of took over, and after a little while, they uh, gave up the ball, and Tiff County wound back up with the ball with about uh, three minutes to go in the first quarter. And uh, as it turns out, Malik Henry wound up busting a six-yard touchdown run. Yeah. So Tiff went up early in the first <clears throat> quarter there, and, after a uh, PAT of Frankie Mejia, up seven to nothing. After after one quarter. After one quarter. Seven to nothing. Seven to nothing. So uh, well, that's good. That's a good way to start. Start the first regular season game. Go up like that. 
Shoot, yeah, shoot, yeah. Well, um, how the second quarter go, Todd? Well, once we uh, kind of got through that first quarter there, uh, actually uh, got on over in the second quarter, and a uh, kid from uh, Westover actually watched him warm up before the game started, kicker, and uh, he was booting him from 50 yards <laughs> consistently and warming up during the game, I mean, before the pregame there. And uh, right before the half, about three minutes to go, he lined up, and uh, I'd be doggone if he didn't hit a 50-yarder in the game. So seven to three, and uh, halftime almost upon us, uh, just uh, about three minutes to go there. So, uh, you know, we uh, get the ball back, and um, with um, really about a minute left to go, um, Westover had wound up with the ball, and uh, no, actually, Westover <coughs> marched back down the field, and, and they were attempting another field goal, and we blocked it. Yeah. And uh, that block uh, actually wound up returning that block was Malik Henry, 70 yards, for another TD. I heard he had done a little bit of everything uh, yeah. <clears throat> Friday night. He had. So, uh, good, good for Malik. Oh, gosh, yeah. You know, um, you know, the ball right there on the ground, he scooped it up like some ice cream, and he catched it into the register down there at the end zone. <laughs> Oh, you've been listening to too much Packer football or something. <laughs> that sounds like them boys over Durwood and the boys over there in Moultrie. Oh, my. Like I don't think I can live up to his legend. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so that puts us up at halftime. Puts, it up at, puts us up at half. Um, you know, and good to go into halftime with a lead like that. And uh, first game of the season. And get some now, of those jitters out of the way. Now, what was your, um, what was your thoughts at halftime of what, what was going on and, and what – how did you feel about us at halftime? Our well, status and our you, you know, know, you know, first game, you first know, there's game, some jitters. There's and, some jitters, you know, a few, <clears throat> few miscues here and there on both sides of the ball there, you know, and um, but you know, going into half, you feel pretty good about it. You know, Westover certainly a solid team, and um, you know, you got you know, you got another half to play, so anything can happen is still at this point. So you know, you got to feel good about it going into the locker room though. Yeah, you got to remember, man, Westover made it to the playoffs. So they made it to the second or third round of the playoffs last year. I think it was the second, maybe third of um, the state playoffs last exactly, year. Exactly, exactly. So they're not a pushover team. Oh, no, no, um, absolutely like not. Like we think they are, because when we think Westover around here, we associate them with that, their basketball That's right. for all these years. That's but right. <clears throat> they've got a really solid football that's right. team. Well, you know, you think about a community like Albany. has got so many high schools that you think that talent's kind of split up and that there's just not a solid team over there. But... Uh, really, all those teams are kind of solid, Randy. You know, yeah, they, that's they right. really are. They really are. So, that's but right. um, we did wind up going in a half up thirteen to seven. I mean, uh, thirteen to three. So, uh, you know, good way to end that first half. Yeah, great, great job at first of the first half. You know, that's, being up thirteen three. That's I think exactly is, right. It's phenomenal. Exactly. So. so, of course, the second half we start out, get the ball, and uh, kind of back and forth throughout the whole third quarter. Nobody scores and. Uh, you know, so uh, so at the end of third, at the end of three, we're thirteen three. Thirteen three, still going to the <clears throat> fourth quarter there. And, um, like I say everybody just kind of you know back and forth, a uh, few miscues here and there. Westo really kind of killed themselves on penalties all night. Um, you know, they, you understand how many penalties I had. You know, know, I really don't know what their penalties were for the whole game, um, but they uh, they they kind of seemed to shoot themselves in the foot there. I was. Um, you know, proud to see our boys kind of a little bit more disciplined and able to, you know, maintain and not get the penalties that Westover did. Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> it looks like uh, Malik Henry kind of was our spark plug for the evening. Yeah, he was. Um, in the fourth quarter, it looks like he, he had a few things, you know, a few pa caught a few passes. Caught a going, few passes, exactly Getting right. us down the field. Exactly. And some key he, opportunities. He was. So, um, did, that's great. Yeah, he uh of course, about a minute to go, uh, Wedgworth uh, hits him with a 21-yard boot there, and he takes it in for a touchdown. And, uh, of course, we go up 19-3 to at that point. And, uh, Frankie, unfortunately, was not on his game Friday night and missed another PAT. But, that, you know, we're still early in the season, and, hey, let's get these jitters out of the way before it counts. You know, not that this game didn't count, but when we get to that region schedule, that's when it really counts. So, you know, a good showing all in all. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. Um I heard that uh, Stephen Waters was really kind of a standout no, on the he, defense he was, uh, Friday he, night. He was stout. He I think he had stout. two INTs and a couple That's of right. forced fumbles. Exactly, he and did. 
several tackles. He did. So he, uh, just want to make sure he gets his due. Listen, he, he did real well. Another kid, you know, probably deserves a little shout out. Braylon Denson did another great job. He uh, had a couple carries and pretty powerful looking on his carries. And, uh, you know, uh, just a great show, and really from a lot of kids. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so congratulations to those guys. Um, it looks like Westover led in total yards for the game, 259 to 229. Um, but a lot of those were compiled at the end of the game. That's, and, that's right. You know, you're, you're basically back in a prevent defense in a two-minute drill type situation, right. and that's you're right. going to give up the underneath stuff. That's it. That's and it. Um, so, you know, that, that line is skewed a little bit. But, you know, it is what it is, 259 to 229. Right. Um, which, you know, in a in a game like this with nineteen to three game, I mean that's that's a lot of yards. Yeah, I guess. It really is, you know. And it's not what we're used to seeing because right. a team like Moultrie will put up four hundred oh, total gosh, yards. Yeah, Georgia Friday uh, Saturday night put four hundred fifty up or four hundred seventy five right, or something. Exactly, exactly. You know, so you see these these kind of, kind of numbers, and then you see this, you know, two twenty nine. Right. You kind of think, oh, really? Yeah, exactly. But when you got good field position, you don't have to. You won't you, chunk up a whole lot. Chunk of yards. Up, that's exactly that's right. right. That's so, exactly right. That's exactly right. Um, you know, and, and I think really throughout the whole game, Tiff County nor Westo really started out deep in their own territory. A couple times Tifton did and um, was able to get out of it. So, uh, you know, it, um, like I say, back and forth game all night long. Now, answer me this, cause, and it just might be me. Like I had said is, I, you know, I was working all Friday night, so I didn't get to see much. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I wasn't out there a lot at all. But what was it, was it wet? And what I mean by wet is it was so muggy underneath that stadium where I was at. Um, it looked like everybody was saying when you got out there up on the in the stands, there was right. a little bit of breeze, but right. down on the field is a whole different oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. ball game. Um, yeah. Was it wet out there at all? Well, Could you tell, like, in, from sweat and just the it humidity was. being just so Just from the humidity because it was very humid. Um, there had been some rain showers kind of passed by us real close, and hum hum humidity was in the air. Um, you know, of course, the field, it's still wet. You know, from all this rain we've had, um, like I said, it looked pretty good at the start of the game. By the end of the game, you know, started to show some wear and tear again. So it was definitely wet down there on the field. You, we, know, you know that has to have an effect on things. Sure, yeah, definitely. Um, our, our kids, were they in shape? We having many cramps or anything? Uh, you know, we looked really good there. Um, you know, last season we really looked good there. You know, kids were going the whole distance, not really much cramping going on. And, um, you know, same again this week. You know, kids look like they're... Pretty well conditioned. It's important early on in the season, man. I mean, it was important all throughout the season. Oh, yeah. Especially early, man, with the, the cramping and the heat and everything. Exactly. Um, it's just kind of a tough, you know, road to hoe. So, right. um, you know, conditioning has a big part of it. it and does. I know our guys are are not slack on conditioning by any stretch. I but, know. you know, still, it, it happens. It, it does. You know, and um, you go out there, play in that kind of atmosphere, and, you know, with the heat and humidity like it is, it, it does take your toll when you're out there beating and banging on each other. So, um, but, well, good. Uh, so we're one and zero. Start the season off. We're that's undefeated. Right. Undefeated. Uh, another game at home this week. That's right. That's exactly um, what I got. Against Houston, Houston County. County. Got the Bears coming into town. The Bears. You know, and last year I believe we wound up what about a forty-seven to six deal on them up there in their own territory and uh they're probably not happy about they're that. probably not happy that's a game that rashad daniels just <clears> showed <throat> out and uh you know it uh they always play as tough no matter if up there or here they're gonna be looking for a little revenge and well they've uh they played a tough game last week they had harris county who made it to the third round of the playoffs last that's year that's right that's exactly um, right and was a uh a, a just Week in, week out, just a powerhouse. That's so, right. um, and they won twenty five fourteen last right. week. So that's, right. that's they got some momentum going. That's right. And, you know, you know beat, don't sleep on them. Oh no, beat a team like Harris County. You know, they would came in and <clears throat> were prepared for that game. I'm sure. And uh, you know, for Houston County to come out with winner winner like that, that uh, speaks a lot. Yeah, um, it's going to be interesting of uh, of what's going on up there. It says Greg Robinson's still the coach there, and I didn't I think he was. I don't was. think he is. I think, I think that's that, a typo. I think it may be, too. You know? I don't know who the coach is there now, but, you know, they, exactly. they beat a playoff team um, last week that's in their right. opener. So, well, 
Let's not sleep on them this week. That's exactly um, right. Just make sure we've got plenty of people out there supporting them again that's, this week. And typically a, one win will get you a full house the next exactly week. That's exactly right. So, it will. It will. Um, so let's, it should be a big crowd. You know, in yeah. this past weekend, you know, Georgia had a big game Saturday night. Folks were already out of town for that. You know, being Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend. That's right. You know, so you had some people already with plans, and, you know, that probably had some effect on the crowd, I would think. Yeah. Well, I'm sure. I'm, I'm quite certain of it. So, um. Anything else you can think of go on? Well, you know, um, I did, going back to Houston County, you know, we had some rivals with those teams from, you know, Houston, Warner Robins, and so on and so forth. I talked to Coach Way back during the summer, and, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about them not being in the re same region with us anymore. And, you know, there's some good rivalries with those teams up there, and we kind of missed that. And, um, you know, um, so it's good for Houston to be able to come down here and, you know, and represent that county, and hopefully we'll, uh, you know, have a good game. Send them back home with Send their Send them back tuck. home with, you know, to come into town bears and leave teddy bears. There you go, Cubs. <laughs> there you go. So, well, good. That's awesome. Um, so, Tiff Scott, Houston, Houston, Houston <laughs> this week. Um, worth next worth week the on the road week. and then TCC on the road. Yeah, we got to, you know, after this game, not that this game's <clears> not going to be tough, but we got a couple tough games right after that. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You know. Um Houston, like I said, beat Harris County. Worth, uh, they lost to they Cook. They lost to Cook, exactly. 29 36. Exactly. I know they had, Worth had five fumbles, two of them oh, that wow. went back for um, touchdowns. Right. Uh -huh. So, I mean, you know, uh, you know the odd th another thing that went on Friday night is everybody around us had lightning delays. Exactly. We, and, and we, we did didn't. not. Exactly. Um, exactly. Which is, I guess, a little bit unorthodox. I don't know. Right. Um, I guess we're blessed and fortunate, but. Um, you know, so the weather everywhere else was a factor, but right. here, here it wasn't. We, you know, maybe was. the humidity, but yeah, but not the lightning, and we didn't have right. the delay and that sort of thing. So very fortunate there. Um, after Worth, we go on the road down to Thomasville, and we got TCC. Right. They lost this week to Valdosta, twenty four twenty eight, in a nail biter of a oh, game. Oh yeah, absolutely. It was a very um, close game. Well, we learned a little bit about Valdosta. Um, I guess it's not a surprise, man. Their their quarterback went down. Right. Um, uh, Brian Massengill's son. Exactly. Um, a lot of people, well, sh most people should be familiar with that name. <laughs> That's right. Um, we talked about that a little bit last week. Some people may not even know who he is. Who but. he is, but um, he, he was a quarterback that was pretty daggum good. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Where did he play at? What was the name of that school? I think it was what? Tiff County, I Tiff believe? Tiff County. Yeah, yeah, he was pretty good. <laughs> um, so he his son is playing quarterback, well, was, and got injured about exactly. in Austin. Exactly. And, you know, you hate to hear that for – for uh, Brian and his family, but absolutely, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, Valdosta being Valdosta, you know, you don't ever want to be glad there's a kid hurt, but at the same time, you know, that's their right. misfortune is our fortune. Maybe. We hope so, so. That's the bad news. the The good news for them is they they got two phenomenal running backs, and if I, an idiot like me, or you can hand a ball off to somebody. <laughs> exactly. Most most, day, most days. Well, yeah. <laughs> Most days. <laughs> Most days. So um, they got two guys, two kids that can absolutely tote the rock, and uh, that's what they did against Thomas County Central the other night. They just so, kept pounding it, pounding it, pounding it. And... Yeah, they ran the ball well and had a punt return, had some special right. team stuff go their exactly. way. So, um, you know, that, that's going to be a, a precursor to maybe what's going on in our region. So um, another thing going on in our region is Coffee County. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, Listen, they have won. They've beat two ranked teams. Two ranked teams in consecutive weeks. That's right. And uh, they, I mean, they should be getting some consideration for the top ten in the state. Now they beat Whitewater a uh, week before last, twenty not, to seven. Right, not a and, slouch. Not a slouch. And they beat Ware, thirty-eight thirteen. And Ware is a good team. Oh, absolutely. So they get Burke County this week, right. who I don't think last year had a whole lot of success. I mm -hmm. think they made it to the playoffs, but lost were, maybe the first round. Right. Mm -hmm. But in years past have been mm -hmm. a saw, very solid program, the exactly. Burke Bears. And then they got Monday's Meal at home, which is no slouch. No. Uh -uh. And then they're going to have the undefeated Tiff County Blue Devils come into their there house. There you go. That's right. And, uh, or our, our house. Actually, they come to coffee. Comes yeah, to they come to sure. us. Mm -hmm. So they got a tough schedule, they a do. tough slate. They so. really do. They really do. And of course, I think some another big, some more big news out of last week is uh, Cockle County going over to Hoover and yeah, um, coming home with a loss. You know, uh, big game. You know, yeah. Well, you know, a lot of hype. 
a lot of hype. There was. I, I don't. No, I don't think I was really surprised. No, me either. I really wasn't. Uh, y- y- Listen, Cocker County is going to be tough when we get that region schedule. You well, know. they're going to lose early and then win that, out that, and play good. Listen, that's, that, that just was a, uh, a warm-up for them. Yeah, they, um, old Rush Probst, he'll, he'll coach them up oh, and, absolutely. and get them ready. And, absolutely. And whatnot. And, you know, we have one of our own over there coaching the O-line. I don't know if you're familiar. Yeah, with, uh, we do. Our uh, pal Brooks Brody is over there now exactly. um, coaching the O-line for – the Cockle County Packers. That's right. So, um, That's exactly right. You don't want to wish him good luck, but you wish him <laughs> all the, you know. You wish him all the best. Great health and <laughs> best wishes. That's, That's what right. you want to wish That's to exactly him. Right. So, That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So um, I do want to go back to the Coffee County deal. Mm-hmm. Just send out a big congratulations to Coach Pruitt. He got oh, his yeah. 300th win. Yeah, exactly right. And that's saying something. Hey, that's a lot of wins. wins. That's a lot of wins. Yeah, you're doing something right if that's, you can go anywhere and put exactly up 300 right. victories. That's so. a lot of deposits in the bank. Yep, that's exactly right. So, congratulations to him and that program. They're going in the right direction. Now, now back to um, Colquitt. They don't have an easy schedule either. Oh, this no. week, they come back to Lovejoy. Right. Um, they got to play Lovejoy. They have them at home. And then they have uh, Carver-Columbus uh-huh. the following week. Right. And um, then they'll start their region schedule against Lowndes. So, they are definitely not taking it easy rolling into the uh, – to the region oh, no. 1-6-A schedule. No. So. Oh, I'm sure they're excited about having a whole game this week, too. Yeah, I can back imagine. Back-to-back long road trips. Yep. Um, what did Lowndes do this week? I know they won pretty big. Um, I heard they looked really good. They won 42-2 yeah. to two against Luella. Luella, right. Um, Luella has not had a football program for too terribly long. Right, exactly. Um, they get Newton um, on this, the road this, this week, mm-hmm. which is... Rockdale, Rockdale, I believe, mm-hmm. um, Rockdale County, right. up that way. Right. And then they get Windsor Forest back down in Valdosta. Mm-hmm. Um, the Newton, Windsor Forest, and then they have Hardaway. Those should be three pretty easy games. For Lounge, you would think so. And yeah. then, you know, three warm-up games going in, then they play Moultrie. Right. So um, we'll see what pans yeah, out with exactly. that. Exactly. You know, I think early on last season we talked about the region and how it's going to be uh, – all the way to the end, just trying to figure out who's going to wind up where. I think it's probably going to be the same again this year. It's yeah. Going, you know, well, you uh, got some teams you don't know what. Uh, Valdosta loses their quarterback. I mean, right. how, how do they bounce back from that? Well, they run the football. That's right. But apparently, they run it pretty well. <laughs> um, Valdosta's got a tough game this week against Brooks, Brooks County. County. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I thought they played Brooks last week, but it was TCC. So they get Brooks Brooks, this week. Mm-hmm. They get Crisp next week. And then they get Newton. Well, how about that? And then they get Camden. So wow. um, some formidable task ahead of them, but um, they should be able to prevail and get through it. Um, we talked about Brunswick, well, Cam- Camden. Let's look at Brunswick first. They lost their opener to Wayne County 20-35. to 35. Mm-hmm. Then they could bounce back and won against Glen Academy this week. Right. Well, they get Ware County this week. Wow. And I don't know what Ware County looks like. They got beat pretty good last week by Coffee. Yeah. But and we they, don't know, we you know, Coffee have won two in a row. We don't know which direction the program's that's, are in. But that's right. We'll, we'll better, we'll, we'll, we'll know, know more about more. Brunswick. For yeah, sure. that's after for they sure. play Ware County. Exactly. So exactly. then they got Groves and then they open up with Lowndes. Right. So mm-hmm. that Groves team used to be tough back yeah. in the day. Right. But and then Camden had uh, Baker County out of Florida, didn't Baker they? County out of Florida with our buddy Ryan that's Sikowski. Right. That's right. Um, they, they beat them pretty handily, 38-8. Yeah, to eight. Um, yeah. Ryan, I think this is actually his last season. He, is that right? He did. I saw a, a Facebook announcement, I and gotcha. I did not ask where he was going right. or anything like that. There's uh-huh. no telling. Right. Um, him and his brother actually run the spread offense and uh-huh. have a book published about the spread offense. Is that right? Wow. How about yeah, that? Yeah. So they uh, they they both did some undergraduate work mm-hmm. at the University of Clemson. And if you can see how their offense was firing on well, all I'll tell you what. 28 cylinders <laughs> uh, Saturday night, yeah, buddy. Absolutely. I just want to say something about that game. Everybody's like, people who are not Georgia fans, Mm -hmm. nor Clemson fans, have been coming up to me like, oh, what do you think about that game? Mm -hmm. Here's what I think about the game. Clemson's a (laughs) fine football team. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Just a daggum fine football team. And don't give them credit. Don't, you know, it ain't Georgia's fault. Give them credit. Hey, listen, you you don't start, you don't come in rank number eight and not be a slouch. You know, that's just, you know, I know Georgia's ranked number five and Clemson's eight, but 
You don't come in that game ranked eight and be That's a slouch. Right, man. Georgia looked good. Their defense has a few. Their left side of that offensive line <laughs> is going to get destroyed by Jadavian Clowney this weekend That's if they it. don't address it and coach something up over there. That's right. But um, yeah, I don't know that they're going to beat South Carolina. But That's I do cool. know this. The defense played solid. Gave up a few big plays, and that was the difference. That was the know? difference. That's exactly you got right. two freshmen out there on the flanks. They, they're right. going to learn from this. Oh, yeah. They absolutely will. We yeah. didn't have to beat Clemson this week. We've got to beat South Carolina this week. We've got to beat week. South Carolina, no yeah. doubt. No so, doubt. You know, um, you know, and listen to some radio shows this week. I, you know, already you hear the folks that's already chop, ready to chop Bobo's head off again this season. I know. You know, and I just, you know. I just I don't I can't justify it myself. You lose Malcolm Mitchell to Listen. Valdos stand out from Valdosta High well, School. Yeah, he's gone for the season. He's with gone ACL. for the season with yep. ACL by yep. celebrating. Exactly. Now, trust me, I know as good as anybody. I get up out of this chair, my body hurts. That's but right. Not as much as the chair hurts, I'm sure. But um, <laughs> you know, I can vouch for. You know, I mean. I don't know. Yeah. I bet this week there ain't going to be no celebrations. Oh, no. I guarantee you, you know, and then they did without Gurley for a little while. He went into the locker room and, um, you know. He... Todd Gurley is just bad to the bone. Oh, gosh, yeah. And I wasn't impressed with the 70, 80-yard runs because when you get uh, with, there's nothing between you and the end zone. Yeah, I mean. You sh I mean, you should I can do it. that. <laughs> I mean, I can run. As long as you don't catch me, I, I can I'll do that. run. <laughs> so, uh, but what impressed me, man, he had gaps this wide. Oh, yeah. That he was just creasing through. Right. He'd hit mm -hmm. it for three yards, carry it for another two mm -hmm. yards. Mm -hmm. That's impressive, that man. It is. It is. It he is. has great, phenomenal vision. Exactly. To where you would take and put um, Marshall in. Right. He didn't hit the holes exactly, exactly the like same as, Gurley would, exactly, man. That's exactly right. So um, I hope he gets all the hype he can for Heisman. So absolutely, absolutely. Stay anyways, healthy. yeah. So anyways, let me let me get off of the college football. Man. <laughs> it's not what we're here. That's for. That's not what we're here for. Yeah, but hard not to talk about. I just wanted to address that. So you know, Georgia's going to be fine. People don't sweat That's it. That's right. Clemson's a good team. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Camden, we were talking about Camden. That's where we were at. Camden. I sound like I'm on my other show where sometimes we get off topic about things. <laughs> um, uh, they they beat Baker County. They got Johnson Savannah, which you might as well go the, ahead and yeah, chalk that one up. And Beach, which you is chalk that one up familiar too. foes to exactly, them. And, exactly. Uh, then they got Valdosta. So then obviously they'll start region play That's there. That's right. That's right. So although we got one game under our belt, there's a lot, a lot going on in. Um. This region, and we've got, we've got a ton of things like, um, I mean, we got two to three more games, and we start region play. That's right, exactly. Phenomenal. I mean, exactly. it's just it'll be here before you it, know it. it. Listen, so, season will be over, and Santa Claus will be knocking on your door. Yeah, well, <laughs> I know that. So, what'd you get for Labor Day? Did you get anything? What I get for Labor Day? I got, I got a day off. <laughs> Hey, that's fun. I'll take it. <laughs> Dog, all right. You know, went to went to Braves game Sunday and um, got in about midnight Sunday night. And what they had a night game? Oh, they started like four thirty, five ten. Yeah, terrible game. Man, I, <laughs> seven to nothing. Or, you know, got a shellacking up I there. I love Braves games on Sundays. When oh, I do too. One o'clock, you can get up that morning. That's right. Go and be home at darkish. Exactly. Exactly. And. You know, have time to sit around the house a little bit, kind of decompress and there unwind. So. That's right. That's right. Uh, ran into the rain on the way up, and first pitch, the rain went away, and great, great weather from there on out. Temperature was just right. We went a couple of weeks ago um, when the Nationals were in town, right. uh -huh. and uh, we walked into the stadium. I always find my seat first, right. so I know, where I'm, exactly. sure I know where I'm at. I know where I'm at. Everybody knows where they're at. Then we went, obviously, and went and got something to eat, and. Uh, by, by the time we got our seat, started walking to get something to eat, it started raining. Oh, my. So we had about a 45-minute, maybe yeah. to an hour rain delay. I can't remember. But um, we had a good time. Well, Braves good. won, thank goodness. Right, I haven't right. been to a game they've lost in a while. Yeah, so yeah. my father-in-law was looking at getting some uh, playoff tickets. So, well, good. Yeah. Well, you know, and walking into the stadium Sunday, you know, walk in, and, of course, we're playing the Marlins, and they got their orange on, and, it's like, gosh, this this is not good. Just saw too much orange Saturday night. Yeah. And now we're looking at this orange again today, and so and there were some Clemson fans sitting around us. So I, I had to kind of keep quiet. And well, Clemson ain't that far. No, from that. they're not. You know, and a lot of folks don't realize Clemson's just across the line there. You yeah, know, it's, it's uh, not far into 
No. South not, Kakalaki. No, it's not. So. We went through there <clears throat> um, Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. I think it was then. I, one of them holidays. I don't know. We was, I was off, and I right. went from, I had dropped my child off in Helen, Georgia, and then went right. over to to Greenville, South Carolina, mm -hmm. but I went through Clemson. Clemson. Uh -huh. And I wanted my kid to be able to say, look, this is where Clemson's at. That's da, da, da. Right. And he's like, so yeah, it ain't very big. All yeah, here is Clemson. It's that's like right. Auburn. North that's exactly. Is Auburn. Exactly. Athens. The only thing there is There's, Athens. Right. That's so, it. So um, he was kind of like, oh my God, ain't that far away. Is it? No, <laughs> no, not really. it's so, not. It's really not. But uh, we had a good time. Good. So that's great. Anyway, what else we got, man? We've kind of gotten off topic a little bit yeah, tonight, yeah. which is uncharacteristic for us. Yeah, really. Well, <laughs> for us, not just. I didn't say me. <laughs> Well, you know, like I said, got the big game coming up again this Friday. Uh, looking forward to House and County coming in. And looking forward to leaving with the tails tucked. I'm sure it's going to happen. Definitely. Uh, imagine the guys of, you know, they did practice yesterday morning, even though they did not have school. They went, did practice yesterday morning, went in at 8, and got through about noon, and had a good practice again this afternoon. So they'll, uh, they'll regroup from this past Friday and be ready to roll. Yeah, um, I think I mentioned last week we were going to have Wedgeworth in here. Yeah, um, scheduling just didn't work out this week, so um, we're going to try to have him in. Hopefully this week. Um, I mean Donovan really doesn't need to sleep, so <laughs> we can do something from Friday night from eleven thirty to maybe midnight ish. Is that all right with you? And he shrugs his shoulders. So apparently it's okay. <laughs> I'm number one. Well, thanks, Donovan. I appreciate that. I am number one. So um, he apparently thinks I'm number one, and that's awesome. So uh, <laughs> we, uh, uh, well, we'll definitely try to have him in some capacity uh, next week, whether it's call in or we right. pre pre tape an interview or something. We'll get him in here in some kind of way. So um, we we appreciate uh, his nomination is. You know, spotlight, player, spotlight, player. exactly. Yeah, and uh, we encourage you all to submit somebody to us that's for right. a player spotlight. So that's, that's why we're here. You can get that uh, through that through our website, tiffcountydevilslayer dot com. So we appreciate that. Um, one other thing I do want to mention, and I feel like I've talked all night tonight, Todd. I'm sorry. Um, Todd and I both are supporters of uh, this group of young men and a few women. Uh, Tiff County Wrestling, we were at the stadium. That's why I was working Friday night. I was selling raffle tickets. And uh, we are auctioning off, I'm sorry, raffling off a Yeti cooler. So um, for those of you who bought tickets Friday night, thank you. We appreciate it. We will be there selling them every home game. Um, try to be there early until the game's over with. So you have plenty of opportunity to buy. Uh, the cost of the ticket is $5 a ticket, or right here's the good one, for $20 you can get five tickets. Five tickets for $20. Uh, so for 20. we'll throw a free ticket in there. Wow. A free winner right there. So, That's awesome. Um, yeah. Uh, so obviously, buy all you can. Proceeds go to Tiff County Wrestling to support over 150 kids. That's right. Um, a big deal. It so, is a big deal. Um, yeah. We we need all the help we can get. Yeah. So yeah, these kids deserve it. They work hard. They do just as hard as anyone else, if not harder sometimes. Yeah, sometimes harder. So, um, and we all sport. you know. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, it's just it's a tough sport, and um, these you know most of the time the kids to be able to go to a match or what have you, we have to travel, and uh, that's what a lot of these proceeds are for is to help offset some of those costs. Um, try to get us some nutrition in them while we're gone, and make sure they're taken care of there and. Um, you know, whatever needs they may have. And that, that's why we're doing this uh, raffle. And, um, you know, we'll have some other things coming on through the season. A golf tournament coming up. You, uh, what's the October date? 26th. October 26th. We're having a golf tournament out at the Golf Club of South Georgia. Um, okay. Again, all proceeds go to Tiff County Wrestling. That's right. You know, wrestling is easy. It's everything that prepares you for wrestling. That's and, right. <laughs> and, you know, after wrestling that these kids need help with, mm -hmm. you know, things like buying new mats. I mean, them things are not cheap. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, 
we're not the football team, uh -huh. and we don't, you know, people support football. And that's okay. We support hey, football. We do. want you to. Absolutely. But also, there's a lot of other sports out there. That's exactly right. And, uh, you know, Tiff County Wrestling needs your help. So um, people help people. And, you know, I, these kids are willing to work hard and do everything to represent Tiff County. That's right. And yeah. we, we need your help. So And they do represent Tiff County well. They're very well behaved anytime they go anywhere. And they do represent this community. So anything you can do to support them is greatly appreciated. It yep. doesn't go unnoticed. That that's exactly right. So um, I don't have the website here uh, in front of me. It's a long number. Maybe we'll get it and put it on our lower third. Did I do that right? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> and uh, maybe we'll have it up so uh, you can check it out during the the uh, show. Um, go there. We there's sponsorship opportunities available. And uh, again, these kids, you know, we want you to sign up for a team. We take PayPal um, right there at the site. Sign up, easy, um, no-brainer. Obviously, we'll have a ton of prizes. Um, we have some people on board like uh, Crocs, who mm -hmm. uh, actually has a golf line. They're right. donating some things. Golf Pride, Nicholas Golf, Mizuno. Um, we've already got people on board like uh, Tiff Regional Hospital. Right. Um, we've got uh, Georgia Sports Medicine, um, Tennis and Nissan. We've got uh, our friends at Prince Chevrolet. Um, said Friday night they were going to help us. Um, so, I mean, there's a ton of people involved. We just want as many people as possible. Right. Um, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, um, Napa, CarQuest here in town, all of them have, have contacted us and are going to be involved. So we need your help with this. That's right. So, it's going to be a very nice tournament, though. <clears throat> it certainly will. It's not going to be a tournament. It's going to be an event. That's it's right. It's going to be an annual thing, and uh, we just want it to grow, and it takes all of you to make that happen. So, anyways, I'm off my soapbox now. Okay. Cool. I sound like I'm on a 700 club, don't I? Or uh, <laughs> PTL network. <laughs> yeah, something. One thing I was going to mention is uh, that, that website, we can put it in the show notes. Awesome. So yeah, that we'll way that. they drive up and uh, want to listen to the audio version of this or what have you and everything that you guys covered tonight, we put it in the show notes. Awesome. And who does the show notes? That would be you. <laughs> okay. I was afraid you were going to say that. Yeah, because nothing gets posted until you <laughs> send the show notes. I give the show notes. So show I'll get that enough. up there. I'll get them show notes ready show tonight. Enough, show enough show notes. So anyways, you got anything else, Tom? I think I, think I, I have. I think I've listened to you uh, ramble as long as I can tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So anyway, I don't have anything else. Do you have anything else? Um. All right. Here's what we need to talk about now. <laughs> no, I, I don't have anything. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it short tonight. I'm through. Oh. I appreciate everybody listening and and all the support, man. And uh, you know, I see people out and about. It's like, oh, yeah. hey, you're the guy that has that show. That's and right. This, that, and the other. You that, and Todd right. have that show. That's and, right. You do. And I it, mean, we do see people. And thanks for watching. Yeah, man. It means a lot to that's us. That's right. You know, we we you know think sometimes nobody's out there tuning in but then when somebody does come by and say hey watch the show the other night or hey when you're gonna be back on the air makes you feel good it certainly does it certainly does so we thank you all for your support um follow us on facebook tweet us instagram us all that good stuff um hey do we have a paypal account <laughs> <laughs> we do actually don't we on uh, our website Hey, sponsorship opportunities available for our show, too. I mean, we've got those out there. That's right. Me and Todd do this for the love of this. That's why we do it. But there are some costs involved in this. And, you know, obviously we want to keep this going and make this your show. That's right. So um, feel free to contact us at uh, on our website. There's actually a place to uh, to log into to get become some a sponsor. Yeah, become a sponsor. So. That'd be awesome. Um, we have a lot of people who follow us and watch us. So That's right. A lot of out-of-towners and a lot of in-towners. That's exactly so, right. So each and every one are important, and each and every one are a, uh, a target, marketing target. So Hey, I saw my nephew back about a month ago. He was in town, lives in Athens, and he said, hey, watch the show. So, you know, and he, he <sighs> didn't even go to Tiff Cannon, not even a Tiff Cannon product. So... Well, pretty cool. He probably likes me. I figured that's what I, he You know, and he said, that Randy Meadows, he, he's, <laughs> he's all right. So. I'm A plus, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm A at least. M plus. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. My wife's making pancakes tonight, so I guess we need to get off here so I can expand my waistband, <laughs> get my cholesterol up. So um, we'll be back next week, Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, live right here at Anero.tv. And until then, fear the pitchfork. And go Big Blue. <laughs>